Okay, in this video, we're going to look at light dependent resistors, LDRs. Now, sometimes they're called photoresistors or photocells or an electric eye, but they're all the same component. And this is the device here. It's a two terminal device. Now, the part number of this LDR is GL5528. Now, when the light intensity, which is measured in lux, strikes the face of this device and it increases, the resistance between the two terminals will decrease. Now if we put this LDR in a voltage divider configuration, we could feed the output into the ADC of the Arduino Nano and we could get an ADC value which we could use in our code. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the LDR circuit. So basically it's just a voltage divider. So we have the LDR in series with a 1K ohm resistor and output voltage is fed into an ADC channel of the Arduino Nano A0. So now when we block the light that's striking the face of the LDR, the LDR resistance will increase and the voltage output to our ADC will decrease. So our ADC value will decrease from 1023 towards 0. So when we detect a drop in our ADC value, we could run some code that will turn on and off a device using the GPIO pins. Okay, I have my voltage divider consisting of the LDR and a 1K ohm resistor on my breadboard and I'm feeding 5 volts to the divider from the Nano and the output is fed into the ADC channel A0 of the Nano. Now I have some code running that's monitoring the ADC value from this voltage divider so when we block the light that's striking the face of the LDR the ADC value will drop. Now when it drops a certain amount the code will toggle pin 13 on the, on the Arduino Nano and also the LED that's on board the breadboard. So now if I block the LDR from the light that's striking it, you can see I'm toggling pin 13. And you can see the LED, you can see the LED toggle. That's pretty reliable. So now we can control any device by breaking a light beam through the GPIO pins of the Arduino Nano. Okay, I'm just going to go over some specs of the LDR that I use in my project, and that's the GL5528. Now it's most sensitive to a light frequency of 540 nanometers, so that's the wavelength, and the visible light spectrum is from 390 to 700 nanometers. So this LDR is right in the middle of the visible light band, so any light that we could see this LDR should respond to. Now a light intensity of 10 lux hitting the LDR will, will produce a resistance of 10 to 20 k ohms across the two terminals. That's a pretty big span. So you wouldn't want to use this for a lux meter. You're better off using a, maybe a photodiode. Now the response time of this LDR is 25 milliseconds, which is pretty slow. So when you break the beam to the LDR, you've got to break it for at least 25 milliseconds to get a good response. Now here's a few examples of lux intensities. So 10 lux would be the same intensity inside a movie theater. 300 to 500 lux would be a typical office lighting. And 32k to a 100k lux would be direct sunlight, which would be pretty strong. Okay, on the setup that I just demonstrated, the light that's hitting the LDR at this moment is the baseline intensity or the starting point, which I've entered into my code. Now when I block the LED, the ADC value drops a certain amount and that toggles the LED on pin 13. But now if I change my baseline intensity, if I turn on another light on my bench, now I just increase the, the intensity to the LDR, the baseline intensity. Now if I try to toggle the LED, it doesn't toggle because now my baseline intensity has thrown off my threshold uh, trigger points. So if we want this circuitry to work with different baseline, baseline intensities, we need some way to track the baseline intensity, and we'll look into that next. I have another video on my channel. It's called How to Build an Infrared Detector. And in that video, it describes how to build a circuit to track light intensity. So if you want to have a look at that video, we'll give you some ideas how to build that circuit. Now the performance of an LDR is pretty limited. I only use them for general purpose light detections, like the presence or absence of light. 
And if you want to get into serious light detection, I would use a phototransistor or a photodiode. So in this video, just give you some ideas how to use LDRs. So I hope it answers some of your questions.